the new uh, PASIG and CRT guidelines of ESC 2021, uh, there are a lot of details and a lot of chapters, and I'm going to point just a few of them. There is a new chapter on the workup before pacemaker implantation. Uh, all patients should undergo, of course, history, physical examination, ECG, and echocardiography. But then there are different modalities that can be used in specific situations uh, before cardiac pacing. The usual indications for, or for sinus node dysfunction and AV block are, remain more or less the same but we have a new chapter on CRT that is totally aligned with the heart failure uh, recommendations that were made in the document that was published a few days before us. We have a new chapter on alternate side pacing. Uh, the most important part is the his bundle pacing that is becoming very common today. Uh, we took a somewhat conservative approach before because we felt that the evidence is not strong enough for wide use of his bundle pacing, so therefore we uh, restricted the recommendation to specific situations, whereas other, uh, other uh, recommendations are still pending, uh, depending on further studies. We did discuss the leadless pacing. We recommended it for patients with difficult venous approach and those who are prone to infections. Others can have it, but at a lower level of uh, recommendation. We have a chapter on new, uh, new and uh, uh, less uh, common indications. The most important one is the TAVI chapter. Uh, it's the first time that we make very specific recommendations on different situations following TAVI and how they should be either evaluated or paced. There is also reference to post-MI, post-surgery, patients with tricuspid disease, patients with rare diseases, all of them appear in the document. There is also a chapter on patient-centered care, which uh, emphasizes the need to make shared decision with the patient about uh, indications that are not entirely sure, and also on the choice of the device in cases where there is some leeway and uh, uh, choice between different devices. There's also a list of elements that should be educated to patients prior to pacing. All the recommendations are available on the pocket guidelines, slide sets, and other products by the European Society of Cardiology.